All right, on to our sales pitch of the week, Craig. This was something we were talking about when we were trying to get our calendars synced and we were thinking, hang on, because we actually block out a lot of our calendar to do work, to make sure we do work because I'm notorious. If it's not in the calendar, I kind of do, don't do it. So I put it in there and then Craig goes to me, he goes, your calendar's really full. And I go, yes, it is, but it's not where I can't take a meeting. So we that's when we said, oh, how do we make this work for us? And this is... a the sales features because we're trying to put things put things in our calendar, but also make it available for people to book meetings where appropriate. And what's the trick, Craig? Well, that's right. As you said, this relates to the HubSpot meetings tool. So that scenario is I want to block stuff out in my calendar so my team don't book in my time, but I do still want to be available externally if there's a prospect or a sales call. So in Google Calendar, and I haven't checked in Outlook, there might be a similar process. Google Calendar has this free busy indicator that you can put on a meeting. And I didn't realize this, so maybe it's obvious to most people, but I didn't realize this, uh, that if you mark it as free, it's in your calendar, so it can block out. Uh, but HubSpot looks at that and says, oh, you are available to take calls. So people can book in a meeting with you. Uh, if, whereas if you switch it to busy, they can't. So that's really nice. So how are we using this? Well, like you, Ian, I like to block out my calendar with, oh, yeah, for example, in the show notes, I've got this example. I'm going to prepare HubShots at this point. So I just put it in my calendar. Uh, and I'm just mentally, it's almost like a to-do list. It's kind of like, yep, I'm going to prepare there. I've got the time set aside. But if someone wanted to book in a sales call with me, I want to be available. That's the situation. This solves it. And the other thing I'll just say, we actually use naming conventions. Uh, this has nothing to do with HubSpot, but I thought listeners might be uh, interested. We actually use prefixes on our meetings. So if anything's prefixed with a one, it means it's uh, urgent or it's important, can't be moved. Anything that we prefix with a two means it's flexible. So we just, any, my t- of course, our team has full access to our calendars. I, that, that may not be normal for most enterprises, but it is for us. So anyone can look at my calendar and say, oh, it's prefix with a two. That's flexible. If there's something urgent, I can book it in. But otherwise, they know, oh, I'm putting this time aside. This, going back to HubSpot, the free busy just means that HubSpot meetings can almost have the same control. So I love it. So at the start of this episode, you said the one thing. This is our one thing for listeners. If you're not using HubSpot meetings for making your calendar available for people to book in externally, uh, that's the one thing. Enable it. And then this free busy might be uh, the solution to a problem (laughs) maybe you didn't know you had. Anyway, really handy. It's just changed the way we do work. Uh, and manage our availability. I think listeners, it's made a big difference to us because A, we're in two different businesses and B, uh, has just eased a lot of that backwards and forwards between us. So, well worth getting in front of. 